Magandang uh, umaga po sa inyo lahat. Uh, if you're joining us live online, good morning po sa inyo or kung nasa ka man lupalop ng mundo, maybe good evening or good afternoon. But for us here, if you're a first-timer, welcome po to our very first service uh, during Sunday. Uh, we do have a 9 a.m. service. Sa mga nakatayo po sa likod, alam ko mahirap po talaga. Mga tao kasi na to, 5 a.m. pa lang nandito na. So, ang hirap pa ako talaga na upuan. So, uh, we have a 9 a.m. English service po sa kabila, so you might want to consider that next time. There are people outside as well, and there are people na rin po dun sa 9 a.m. service. And we are on our series entitled Redefined, and this particular part of this series, we've been talking about our relationship with God. I mean, can you just imagine with me for a moment? Imagine, magka-relationship ka sa isang artista na Hollywood star man lang, or U.S. president. Imagine just the thought na you have... His number sa phone mo ngayon. Kunyari, hindi po sabihin mo lang, Hello, Donald. Parang ganun lang kasimple, okay? Kamusta yung hurricane dyan? O, Tagalog pa si Donald Trump. Di ba parang, imagine if you can just direct dial Donald Trump from your own phone or viver him. Hi, hi, Donald, I'm here in the service right now. Would you like to join us? Imagine, a president of the United States, you have a direct line. I mean, president pa lang yun. Now, imagine the privilege you have that you have a direct line to God. That he listens to you, and we've been talking about that, that he cares for you. He even considers you as his sons and daughter, right? That's why we're so blessed. It's, it, it, hindi ko makomprehend yung thought na yon, that God allowed himself to, be, to, to have a relationship with us. And talking about really um, uh, preaching uh, to you this morning, we had uh, a week-long, five days training about preaching. Parang, it's solely about preaching. I mean, we, anybody here attended the 10 and 12 last week? Dr. Dave Ward, yung pro, naging professor namin, is, is a brilliant guy. Humilitation and all. You can download his podcast, last week's preaching. Uh, nag-preach po siya dito sa 10 and 12. And we had a great time. Tinuruan po kami kung paano mag-preach. I thought marunong ako mag-preach until narinig ko siya. Oh my gosh, parang lahat yata sinasabi ko, parang ang layo yata sa tinuturo. I mean, he's just so brilliant. We were divided into this, uh, parang each team, we were divided into eight to ten pastors. Imagine, we're preaching in front of pastors. I mean, I've never felt so anxious in front of this. Eh, mga iniidolo ko to, these are senior pastors, theologian, mga nag-aaral sa Amerika to, Pastor Noel and Dieter is taking his master's in, in Asbury Theology Seminary, and you're gonna preach in front of them. I mean, eh, mga tinitingala ko to, although mas matangkad ako sa iba dyan. I mean, for 20 minutes, they're gonna hear you. At alam mo, hindi nakikinig because of yung delivery mo o galing mo, they're listening to the content, yun the whole package. And I've never felt so <laughs> worried Mas nag-worry ako yung preaching ko sa harapan ng mga to kaysa mag-preach sa inyo every Sunday. Right? Anybody here, you have experienced being worried about, you know, worry is something like, you're worrying about tomorrow na hindi mo naman sure kung mangyayari o hindi, right? It's like today, you're worried about tomorrow. Sino si na, 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 na stress ka na, Monday na pala bukas. Sino stress ka ba na may trabaho na pala bukas? Yung, hindi mo ma-enjoy yung pinapanood mo The Voice nung naalala mo, oh my gosh, may pasok na pala bukas, na stress ka na. Hindi mo na ma-enjoy yung pinapanood mong uh, movie or, or TV series Sunday night because you're thinking Monday na pala bukas. Or maybe you're a businessman. Sino ito na stress? Yung mga check-in tatalbog bukas. Sana may pampondo. Anybody here, mga businessman, mga supplier na maniningil? Although every Friday yon, Any student here in the house, na stress ka nga, di ba? Dahil may exam bukas. Or any, um, many single people in the house, ito na naman. Pag tinanong na naman ako, kumusta ang buhay mo? Ito, self-supporting, single pa rin. Pinapasaya ko na lang yung sarili ko, na kunyari, ganyan, magpopopost, masaya, pero malungka. Anybody, you're so worried about tomorrow. We're going to talk about worry today, and, and in line with that, we're going to open our Bible to Matthew chapter 6, uh, verses 31 to 34, but we're going to study the whole chunk. I'm just going to read this first to you. So do not worry saying, what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? Verse 32, for the pagans, talking about those who don't believe in Christ, in God, run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. In verse 33, our favorite verse. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Why? Because each day is enough trouble of its own. Let's bow down our heads. Father, we thank you for the powerful truth behind these verses. 
Lord, bring clarity to each and every one of us. We may have justified our anxiety. We may have justified our worries. But Lord, tulungan mo kami, Lord God, today to learn what these verses are saying. And Lord, bring us to a place where we will find comfort knowing that you are our Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Let me uh, give a premise. It's human nature to be concerned about bad situations in our world. I'm not going to be here and say to you, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, or don't worry about your problems in the future. No, no, no. It's a human nature. It's in us, okay? To be concerned about bad situations in our lives, in our personal lives. But if we're not careful, the devil can cause us to worry beyond what's reasonable. Are you listening? Somebody once said that worrying is like a rocking chair. It keeps you busy, but it gets you nowhere. Anybody here, like if you try a rocking chair, pinag busy ka pero wala ka naman narating. Just like that. And when we talk about worry today, yung bata na to, nag iniisip niya, ano naman kaya kakainin ko ngayon? I mean, nakakita ka naman na bata na worry ko nung gerber na kakainin niya. I mean, banana na naman ba? Or di ba? And, do you have kids na nag-worry na ikot ng ikot si Junjun? Oh, ba't ka umiikot? Eh, hindi ko alam tayo kung may pan-tuition ako. Grade 1 na mong problema. Have you seen a kid worrying about tuition na fees? Have you seen a kid na nag-worry sa kung may laman yung ref? Ma'am, may problema ako. Bakit? Walang laman yung ref. May kakita ka bang batang ganon? Kain lang sila ng kain, right? And you see the word worry. Let's have a simple uh, word study here. From the Greek word, merim nao, merim nao, it means to divide or to draw in different uh, directions. If you look at the old English term of that, it means to strangle. And if you look at Latin word, that's where we get the word anxiety or anxious. It means to choke, to strangle, or to torment. In the whole 10 verses ng Matthew chapter 6 na babasahin natin, six times the word worry was mentioned. So it must be significant. And that gives us an idea why you feel choked at times. Pag problema ka, right? I like Corrie Ten Boom quote on worrying. Worrying is carrying tomorrow's load. Problema mo bukas, exam bukas, pambayad bukas sa tuition, pambayad sa PLDT, sa cable. It's worrying tomorrow's load with today's strength. So what's happening is, sabi ni Corrie Ten Boom, carrying two days at once. It is moving into tomorrow ahead of time. Worrying doesn't empty tomorrow of its sorrow. It empties today of its strength. Wow. Some of you need to memorize this. I mean, you're talking about Corrie Ten Boom. She's, I mean, I'm mean, talking about yung pinagdaanan niya sa Holocaust. If you look at this verse, wow. It doesn't empty tomorrow of its sorrow. Sino dito nag-worry ka ng pambayad ng tuition? The following day, sinabi, bayad na, nag-worry ka kasi kahapon eh. Libre na tuition ng anak mo. Eh, meron ba dito ganon? Tumawag yung taga Sky Cable. We have the GM of Sky Cable here. Uh, by the way, Mr. Escopides, ang tindi ng worry level mo kahapon. Sige na, bayad ka na. Huwag ka na magbayad ng three months. Anybody, you've worried, and then finally, binayaran na lang all of a sudden. So today, we're going to do things about, we're gonna three things about worry. We're going to look at ano ba talaga yung reason why we worry. But if we really dig deeper, what's the root behind worrying, and we're going to find a resolution, Knowing na meron palang pinanggagalingan to, right? So let's jump right to the verse. It says here in verse 25, the starting verse about worry, Therefore, we're going to study it later, I tell you, do not worry. It's actually a command. By the way, we've been talking about the Sermon on the Mount, right? We've been talking about this long preaching of Jesus, and He's been assuring and assuring and assuring these people, You are my children. I'm your father. Now, this word, therefore, sinabi niya, I tell you. Hindi niya sinabi niya, I de- I, I, I sug- I'm suggesting. Or, can you try first? No, 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 no. It's a direct command. I tell you, do this, do that. Sabi ni Jesus, I tell you, do not worry about your life. What you're gonna eat, what you will eat or drink, or, 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 about, or your body, what you will wear. Look at those two words. It talks about what? It talks about future. And those food and drink 
and clothes. He's talking about the primary concern of the people back then. And we're talking of 2,000-year-old story. <clears throat> and the people listening to Jesus that time, po, yun ang mga primary concern. They don't have much food, nakatulad natin ngayon. If you have plenty of money, just go to 7-Eleven. Kung mamili ka ng bibila mo, supermarket, left and right. No, no. During that time, mahirap pong ang food, mahirap po ang pera. They're under the slavery and the yoke of the Romans. So, the primary concern that time, makakain lang, okay na. May isang damit lang, okay na. Modern day translation, do not worry about your, what? Your school. Do not worry about your job interview. Do not worry about your career. Do not worry about your iPhone 10 na gusto mo, whatever. Do not worry about getting married someday. And all the singles in the house says, Amen. Amen. Darating yan, kapit lang. <laughs> Buhay ang Diyos. Si Jesus namatay, nabuhay ng single, He's complete. Okay lang yan, okay? Kung will ni Lord, darating yan. <clears throat> He's saying, what's more important? Is not life, here's the question, listen up, this is very important for you to wrestle with. Is not life more than food? Hindi ba yung buhay mo? It's not just talking about the physical life, your totality, your life, and your body it's more important than clothes. Here's, a, I mean, hindi maintindihan ng iba. Pastor, hindi ko maintindihan. Kaya ito lang kasimple yan. Pag nagkasunog sa bahay nyo, sino sa inyo rito, una mo ilalabas yung ref kesa sa anak mo. Sa dali na ref to eh. Nandito lahat ng chicha ko eh. Ha? Nasusunog ang bahay yung ref ang una mo ilalabas. You're gonna bring out life. Una mo ilalabas yung sarili mo, Right? Pag nasunog ang family picture nyo, it's okay masunog ang family picture kasi you can have another family picture. Pag nasunog ka, walang kwenta yung picture. Are you listening? So that's what this message, is, uh, the point of this verse is all about. Your life will not crumble kung hindi ka makakain sa spiral. Anybody, nakakain ka sa spiral. The buffet, grabe. Mula sa, sa Sofitel to, right? Ang start ng buffet sa Sofitel, ang dulo sa Cubao. Ang tagal. <laughs> Para nasa na ba ako? Nasa Spanish na ba ako? Nasa Chinese? Ang lahat na ng mga kakainan mo nandun. But it doesn't mean hindi ka nakakain sa spiral. Hindi ka kumpletong tao, your life will crumble, right? Sino sa inyo rito, pag sale yung donut house dyan, pumipila ka tatlong oras, nakakaawa minsan, nakapila hanggang dyan sa, hanggang dito sa kanto natin, hanggang market-market, nakapila, makabili lang ng 50% off na donut. I'm going to tell you something. God will give you the money to buy kahit hindi siya sale. Hello? Amen. Stress na stress. Tatlong oras, nag-accel na oras, makabili ng dalawang box na donut. Pibigyan ka ni Lord ng perang pambili kahit hindi sale. Hindi mo kailangan stress sarili mo. Come on! Hinihintay ko ngayon mag-doble presyo nila. Doon ko gustong bumili. Eh. Ano kala mo sa akin? Jeep? Bibi- Wala ba mas mahal dito? Ha? Magkano to? 30. Gawin mo 60 pesos per piece. Yun yung hinihintay ko, ayaw pumayag. Sir, magugulo yung machine namin eh. I mean, who told you na pagka hindi ka nakapunta sa midnight sale sa Mega Mall, hindi ka kompleto? I mean, isa mo na ko yung idea na yun. I mean, the, the verse is saying, don't worry about those things. Tapos, and then Jesus shifted. I mean, he's talking to this group of people. Jesus shifted. Look at the birds of the air. Parang yung mga tao, uh, Jesus, are you with us? Ano nangyari? Nag-explain ka ng worry. Tapos birds, okay? Ano kinalaman ng birds sa exam ko bukas, Jesus? Diba parang, anybody, you're concerned about your exam. And Jesus is saying, look at the birds. We shall was a bird. <laughs> Some of you, <laughs> naguguluhan dito. But what this verse is saying, look at the birds of the air, they do not sow or rip. Okay? They do not store away in barns. Wala silang wisdom to plan and anticipate. They just go with their nature, natural tendency nila. I think magugutom ako, kakain ako. I think I'm gonna fly south. Pagka malamig dito sa China. Pagpunta ako dito. They, they don't have an idea how to create barns. They just get this straw, parang every year, gusto kong kumuha ng straw. Okay. Nung pala, mang, mangingitlog pala siya. So, they don't have the capacity like us to plan and anticipate. And Jesus was saying, look at the birds. 
They do not sow or reap or stow away in barn, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not more valuable than birds? Tila mo yung sarili mo. Tila mo yung... Ah, hirap tila mo sarili, no? Para kung walang salamin. Tila mo yung katabi mo. Mukha bang birds yan? Mas mahalaga pa sa birds yan. Kung si God concerns sa bird, anybody here nakakita ka ng bird na namatay sa guto? Yung talagang... Yung bird na na... na malnourished na bird. May nakita ka na dyan? May nakita ka bang malnourished na bird? Yung... Yung nakita mo sa kalya na mamalimos. Nakakita ka na ng... Ibong grasa. Bird's oil? Ano ba tawag sa kanila? I don't know. Yung na- naawa ka, kawawa naman tong maya na to. Walang makain. Butot balat. Pag may nakita ka, Instagram mo, iktag mo ko, right? I've never seen a bird na lumilipad na matay sa guto. Ah, kawawa naman, Tom Jones. W- wala eh. And yet God feeds them, how much more valuable are you than birds? This verse is not talking about living a responsible life. Eh, sabi ni Pastor, parang birds na lang, wag na lang ako magso, mag No, 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 no. He's talking about you prepare and then let God do the rest because you're more valuable than they. Can any of you, moving on, any of you by worrying add a single hour to your life? Anybody here nag-worry ka, lumakas ang pakiramdam mo? <laughs> nag-worry ka, tas energize ka? Contrary to what science is validating, when we worry, the, uh, the, the science, the medical field is saying, our body reacts the same way when we are encountering a physical danger. danger. Pagka pala nag-worry ka, it's the same reaction when you're confronted with someone na sasaksakin ka. Are you listening? It's the same reaction. Your body is releasing these hormones, this cortisol, this, uh, uh, yung, ma, yung, yung, yung body natin will react either fight or flight. So it's like your body is engaged to a physical threat. Ganun po yung worry. Ang problema, most of our problems cannot be addressed by fighting or by, by, by flying or flight or moving away. Kung physical danger, you can either fight or tatakbo ka, right? Eh, ang problema mo, credit card bills. Ano, kaawayin mo yung Citibank? Kayong mga taga Citibank, ha? Kung mag-charge kayo sa akin, kayong mga taga BPI, kayo... aawayin mo yung bank, mga banko because of your credit card bills? Or tatakbuhan mo? Hindi pwede, kakasuhan ka nun. So most of our problems, problema sa, sa, sa school, problema sa office mate. So your body is engaged for a long time, pump up with, with those cortisol and, and adrenaline, but you cannot do anything because tomorrow pa mangyayari. So prolonged state, now you're pump up with those uh, uh, cortisol and adrenaline, it's bad for the heart. Nakaka-ulcer. Kaya pag nag ka, it will dry you up. It will kill you. Kaya, sabi dito, sino nag-worry na dagdagan ng buhay? It diminishes life. And why do you worry about clothes? I mean, sino nag-worry ka ng clothes? <laughs> yung mga daughters ko minsan, I have two daughters, they're grown-ups. Sabi niya, Dad, <clears throat> hindi na lang ako pupunta sa party. Ah, bakit? Pinsan niyo yung may birthday. Dad, we have nothing to wear. Nataranta ako, di ba? Nata- I worry, physical day. Sabi ko, bakit nanakawan tayo kagabi? Naransak tayo? Anong nangyari, anak? Sino yung nagnakaw? Pagpunta ko sa cabinet, yung nahulog talaga sa akin lahat. Wow, forever 21, di ba? Ang dami, H&M. Sa akin kasi puro mga blue bubbles, blue soda. Okay. <laughs> Yun ang mga damit ko, out- ang outfit ko. Sabi ko, Jinin, ano to? Burger? Puro damit to na may etiketa pa. Naalala ko, binili mo pa to. Adan, hindi match sa shoes ko. Oh, hindi match sa shoes. Sa shade ng lipstick. Ang dami. Kami naligo lang two minutes. Tapos na. Sila may lipsticks, may hair. Why do you worry about clothes? See how the flower of the fields grow? They do not labor or spin. I'm not picking on women that there's something about you when it comes to clothes and shoes, right? Naniwala ka sa mga marketing na to. Buy now or die later. Yan ang mga pinaniwalaan mo na kailangan mong bilhin, you have this urge to buy. Han. Ang mahal na itong damit na to, 100 pesos. Mahal na, no? Mahal na sa amin yung 100 pesos. 70 off. 
Ang laki na tipid mo, han, 70 pesos. Pag di mo binili yan, isang daan na tipid mo, di ba? So, parang wag mo nang bilhin. So, there are people out there, they are so into it, they're accumulating and accumulating and accumulating, tapos mag-garage sale, may mga etiketa pa. They're thinking, hanggat sale, sayang eh. Hmm. We have this mindset, dapat laging latest, whether it's a gadget or stuff, dapat branded. Okay? Alam mo yung LV? Sino mga nakabag na LV dito? Iyo yun, lumang vag. <clears throat> I mean, I have nothing against branded bags, right? Kung meron ka, great. But do you worry pag wala ka niyan? Or do you feel prideful pag meron ka niyan? So those are both, both things po, delikado. And, and, and it says here, if that's how God clothed the grass of the field, we see it today, tomorrow, we've thrown it to the fire. I mean, yung mga pinakakaabalahan mo, look at, the, look at those clothes, uh, look at how God clothes the field. Anybody here, you've been to Singapore um, Garden by the Bay? Wow. Ang ganda ng mga orchids and tulips nila. Lahat ng mga bansa yata sa buong, uh, ng flowers of all the world. Nandol, ang ganda. Air condition, enclosed. And yet, those plants, here today, gone tomorrow, and still, God is concerned to clothe them. And sabi dito, will He not much more clothe you? What's the reason why we worry? Point number one, because we think that stuff will bring us life. That's why we worry. We're thinking stuff brings life. Less stuff, less life. No stuff, no life. We feel lonely pag hindi ka naka NMD. Anybody here? Napa pressure ka? I know people, we have a co parent, their kids studying in in a school in San Juan, I won't mention the name, and as young as grade school, grade three, grade four, the children are pressured to wear Yeezy. Alam niyo Yeezy na shoes? Well, I have 18 of those. It's a 50,000 pair of rubber shoes, okay? Because kay Kanye West, I mean, 50 to 60,000. And yung mga grade schoolers, because their classmates are wearing Yeezy, I bought two sa Green Hills. May iba is spelling, cheesy, okay? So, maganda rin siya. Pag suot ko, mukhang original na. But anyway, so the, 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 the kids are being pressured to have those sneakers. They're pressuring their parents because lahat ng classmate naka -yeezy. So they feel as young as they are, kung di ako naka -yeezy, I'm lesser of a person. That's how the world operates. That if we have more stuff, we will be completely alive. More stuff brings more life. Now, I want to balance this. If you have stuff, great. But I hope you're not drawing your worth and value and identity from those stuff. God loves you kahit di ka naka LV. God values you kahit wala kang girlfriend or boyfriend. You're not an outcast kung hindi ka makakain sa mamahal na restaurant. That's what this uh, uh, verse proves in Luke chapter 12, verse 15, the parable of the rich fool. Remember, life does not consist in an abundance of possessions. So, first things first, the reason why we are worrying, because we're so consumed of stuff. I need this, I need this, but wala akong ganon. We're so worried about the things na wala tayo, and lose sight of the things that we have. We're always looking at our neighbors. Naka LED na, naka LCD na, naka, ala na, walang katapusan yan. It's a never-ending pursuit. Whereas God is saying, kumi tubig kami, pagkain ka, that's enough, you will live. But we want more than what we can have. So that's the problem po. That's the, that's the reason why we worry. We have this faulty mindset, if I have this, it will bring me life. But then again, if we really dig deeper, I want to uh, uh, pro propose this point to you. There's a deeper issue why we're worrying. The real root cause why we worry is this. Will he not much more clothe you? You of little faith? That's the number one reason why we're worrying. We do not trust in God. 
The word you of little faith from its original Greek word, it's oftentimes, actually six times na nagamit lang to ni Jesus, it often uh, uh, addresses the people that Jesus was rebuking of failing to hear his voice. In fact, if you look at the Greek word of that you of little faith, it's one word lang po sa Greek. Describe someone dull to hearing the Lord's voice. That's what it meant. Or disinterested in walking intimately with Him. Ginamit siya ni Jesus when He comes the storm, and then yung mga disciple niya, walang faith. Sabi ni Jesus, you of little faith. When, when Peter was drowning, kinuha ni Jesus, you of little faith. Kung baka si Peter, because he's... Um, Parang bombarded by the wind and the rain and the lahat nung nando siya na nalulunod siya, maybe he had dull of hearing nung sinabi ni Jesus na, come here. Maybe some of you here, may dull ka na ng hearing of the Lord's voice because you've been hearing the world's voice. More stuff you have, more stuff. The more you have more stuff, the more you'll be complete. Maybe some of us are in this interested in walking intimately with Him. Could it be possible that we have so much stuff that we are now dull in hearing God's word? Could it be possible that we want to acquire more stuff and we compromise the teaching of the Bible? Nandaya ka na sa tax para mabili mo yung coaching gusto mo. Gumagawa ka na ng konti lang naman na illegal pastor. Magta-types naman ako, konti lang. Lord. Pikit mo lang mata mo rito sa, sa pandang oras ng ganito, Okay? mag under the table ba ba to close a deal and you've been dull in hearing the Lord's voice because you're trusting more on your discarte more than God. I used to be a salesman for eight years. And normally our clients would love to go out, okay? Parang it's an SOP, okay? Hindi pa ako ganun ka-disciple that time, okay? I'm confessing in front of you. So, kailangan mong padulasan yung managers and mga kusin sino mga boss na nagdi-decide para maka-order ng oil. Ilalabas mo sa mga clubs and all, yung ano trip nila. And then suddenly, me and my boss got convicted, it better stop. We should talk to our, our, our clients and our uh, customers, boss, hindi na ngayon pwede yung ganyan. And then they stop ordering. It's a tough choice. Will you trust those clients or you're trusting God that He will never leave you nor forsake you? It's a tough choice actually. The mga nasa sales ngayon dito, I know how you feel when we are, you, you, you're compelled to compromise your faith. So pagka ikaw na compromise ka ng faith, you're hearing the word of God, you of little faith. You're not trusting in me, you're trusting on what the world is offering. Remember the... The feeding dito po sa mana. Remember the mana? When it was being uh, distributed every morning, God said, every waking up in the morning, there's gonna be a uh, parang hamog or a dew. Yun dew na yun, pag sumikat ang araw, mawawala siya, and it will turn into this bread from heaven called mana. And the instruction was, just get for one day usage lang. One day consumption. Because tomorrow morning, Jesus, a God is going to deliver again a mana. For 40 years, He's gonna do that. But then again, yung mga tao, of course, they don't trust in God. They gathered more than one day. Good for three days. Anak, baka makalimutan ni God, makatulog. Let's gather for one week. But then God said, do not gather for more than one day's consumption. Kasi babaho yan, there are gonna be maggots, babaho buong kam. And that's what happened. There are people who lack faith and then gathered more than what God told them to, to gather. Just good for one day. Because I'm going to make sure every waking up in the morning, I'm going to be faithful in providing for you. Could it be possible that yung ears natin na dal na because we're not trusting in God for provision? That's why we're doing a lot of stuff na alam natin, hindi mo pwede ikwento sa pastor mo. You see, worry often gives a small thing a big shadow, sabi na isang Swedish proverb. It's not gonna, hindi mangyayari yung karamihang winawari mo. That's my point. Pinalalaki mo lang. Worrying is an unproductive imagination. Hindi naman mangyayari, pero you're so worried today. It saps you of the energy today of the things na pwede hindi naman mangyayari bukas. And if you look here, the word therefore, again, medyo may konti natutunan yung pastor nyo from that homiletics class. When you see the word therefore, it means there's two connecting thoughts. And there's a thought 
previously, maybe a verse or a whole chapter, maybe three chapters pa nga, minsan sa Romans, but here, the word therefore is connected to the verse before. What was the verse before that? We've talked about this last week. No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one or love the others, or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. Here it's saying, worrying has a direct correlation with what you are devoted to or who you are devoted to. Sinasabi po ng verse na to, hindi ka pwede mag-devote both. Either kay God or sa money. Either kay God or sa mammon. And what this verse is saying, what you are devoted to the most determines what you worry about the most. Kung saan yung worry mo, dun ka devoted, madalas. I'll give you an example. I have a confession to make. When you ask me for prayers, I'll, I'll be honest with you, some of you nagpapapray sa akin. When, when, after I, pray, I, I preach, some of you come here and then pastor, pray naman. Let's say, for example, um, uh, exam no anak ko bukas, or bar exam, or visa application, all right? Or a girlfriend, or may mga ibang ganun, okay? So nagpapapray. I have a confession to make. After I pray for you, and, and I, I really believe God will meet you according to your faith shall be done unto you, I have a confession to make. pag ko ng bahay, hindi ako yung tipong hindi mapakali, hindi ako makausap ni Grace. Han, ano problema mo? Yung exam nung bata na nagpa-pray sa akin, ang dinadamdam ko for the whole week. No, 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 no. I'm not choked by your concern for the whole week. I prayed for you. I, I'm deeply concerned na sana makatanggap ka sa, matanggap ka sa trabaho, but I'm not gonna be roaming around our house. Natanggap kaya yung siya, kung sino man siya, nagpa-pray ng makatanggap ng trabaho, na, 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 nakuha kaya siya sa, sa, sa school, o may pambahid na kaya siya ng tuition. I'm not worried. I'm sorry, but I'm not devoted to your son's grades. That's my point. I'm not devoted to your visa application. That's my point. I'm not devoted na makahanap ka ng trabaho. I mean, I'm not gonna be consumed the whole week thinking kung natanggap ka or hindi. But I prayed for you. Because, look up here. Our worry is tied to the things that we're devoted to. Nagwa-worry ako pag yung anak ko naghahanap ng school na papasukan. My, my grade 12 daughter, si Patricia, she wants to enroll herself sa dalawang campus na dream niya. So medyo na worry siya. Minsan nadadamay ako sa worry niya. Because I'm devoted to my daughters, there's a tendency for me to worry for her. Are you listening? And same thing with you. The things we worry about reflects our core devotion. So kung ang devotion mo nasa career, ang tendency mo mag-worry sa career mo. Pag hindi, tuma- hindi umaayon sa pinaplano mo. Kung ang devotion mo sa kotse mo, pag nagasgas yan, you're gonna worry. Kung ang devotion mo sa anak mo na hindi pa umuwi, alas gis na, you're gonna, you're, 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 there's a tendency for you to worry. So the goal is to shift our devotion. Kaya it says here, so, look up in the screen, do not worry saying what shall we eat or what shall we drink or what shall we wear for the pagans, the people who don't have faith in God. Jesus rebuked them, you of little faith, but the pagans, they don't have faith at all, Okay? For the pagans run after all these things. So what this verse is saying, the root cause of all your worries because you don't trust in me. Hindi ka lalalayo sa mga pagans. Ito mga pagano, mga taong walang dilip sa Diyos, walang tiwala sa Diyos, they thought that earth is everything. Wala nang afterlife, so eat, drink, and be merry. Just accumulate, accumulate, have sex with anyone you want to have sex with, because if you feel like doing it, just do it. Just acquire, acquire, acquire. It's all about here on earth. That's why they keep on worrying, because they're not considering eternity. Those are the pagans. And and, hindi ho tayo pagans, okay? The reason why you're here today, because you're believing that there is a God. Now, here's the assurance for you, sa mga Kristiyano na anak ng Diyos. Your heavenly Father knows. Yung tatay mo sa langit knows na kailangan mo yan. Prior to these verses, we've read this a prayer, He knows even, even before you ask. Hindi ba assurance? For example, one night, you're worrying so much about, about pambayad ng tuition next week. 
And you're so worrying and worrying and worrying. You've done everything. You plan, you anticipate. And then somebody whispered into your ears, na alam mong si God or an angel or someone, sinabi niya, I know. Ano feel mo? If, if the God of the universe who created the heavens and the earth assured you, I'm concerned. Alam ko'y pinagdadaanan mo. Magugulat ka, I'll be there ahead of you. You see, let's just do our part and leave it all up to God. There's this powerful verse in Proverbs that says, the horses are made ready for battle. Okay? If there's a battle, you do your part. You prepare the horses. Alam niyo po yung horses during battle. I mean, para kami tanks and, and mga fighter jets that time. The horses are made ready for battle, but victory rests in the Lord. Are you listening? Do your part, prepare, uh, anticipate, but at the end of the day, you can sleep tight at night because nag-review na ako, Lord, bahala ka na sa exam ko bukas. Ang worse, hindi ka nag-prepare. Talaga mag ka. Lord, may exam bukas, pero nag-dota ko o nag-mobile nag, nag, uh, legends. Ikaw na, Lord, bahala. Sabi nung pastor doon, parang birds, di ba? So, puro mobile legends ako ngayon, Lord. I'm a bird, so, papasa ko bukas, Lord. Good luck, okay? You do your part. You save. You tithe. And let God do the rest. After saving and tithing, yung matitira, God will make it sure you're gonna enjoy the blessing of the Lord. He gives no trouble to it. So that's our part, okay? So that's the reason. The reason why we're worrying, because we're thinking stuff gives me life. And we've said, hindi totoo yan. Some of you will run out of time and you still have stuff. Some of you, walo na rilo mo, na extra. Ang dami mo ng rilo. Ano ba ginagawa mo dyan? Tingin mo mas mas marami, mas, mas sikat ka. I mean, there, minsan tayo lang nagdadala ng unnecessary worry. Just, 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 just be content with what you have. Just enjoy your family. Enjoy. You don't have to go abroad para mag-enjoy. Dali mo sa Rizal Park, libre, just enjoy. Kaya lang ang dami mong gusto na hindi mo kaya, kaya ka nag-worry. And you neglect to see what you have because you're looking for the things you do not have because of our little faith. God, literal tong bayarin. Ikaw hindi kita makita, okay? So, gawin mo akong bird or bayaran mo to? I mean, hindi ko alam. How we put our trust on people instead of putting our trust in God. And lastly, as we end, the resolution, look up at the screen, it says here, but, you know the word but, there's a contrast. You are pagans who put their trust in their wealth. You are pagans who don't have any idea of who God is. But, tayo na mga Kristiyano, tayo na anak ng Diyos, tayo na na-assured of His love. In fact, before this verse was mentioned, the Matthew 6, 33, are you aware? In the whole chapter 6, the word Father was mentioned 12 times. The word, your heavenly Father. The word, your Father. The word, our Father. Those words were mentioned 12 times just to assure you, carry kita. Just to assure you, anak kita. Just to assure you, ako bahala sa yo. And this verse is saying, seek first his kingdom. The question is, where do you primarily spend your energy? Is your time, money, time, talent, treasure spent on good and uh, I mean, good activities lang ba? Activities that will certainly perish or in the service of God na may eternal value? Midnight sale or race for life? Saan ko dadali yung pera ko? Or you can do both. But sometimes we're so consumed of the now. We're so consumed of the earthly things. Kaya hirap na hirap tayo when it comes to my eternal perspective. We have a challenge for you. Spend a meal with someone. Yung office mate mo, 35. Sa McDonald's, ang daming 39ers, di ba? Mag-spend ka. Titreat kita. Kaysa kumain ako sa labas ng mamahalin, tayong dalawa. Tiki isang burger tayo. I'm gonna share to you the love of God. 
Seek first his kingdom. In your offices, are you seeking God's kingdom or are you seeking to ad- advance your own kingdom? Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. And default mo lagi, how can I advance God's kingdom in my workplace? But seek first his kingdom and all these things. Are we talking about prosperity gospel here now, Pastor? Uh, Pastor, ano yan? Isik ko siya, bibigyan niya lahat ng gusto ko. Okay, game. Game ako dyan. God, ito mga listahan ko. Para kasi Santa Claus, naghihingi ka ng mga list, okay? Lord, ah, kailangan ko ng bagong uh, bios. Yung bios, lagyan mo ng mugs, okay? Magandang sounds. Okay, kung ayaw mo ng bios, okay, okay na ako sa uh, SUV na lang. Tapos, bigyan mo ako ng girlfriend para may maisakay naman sa bios. Wala namang kwenta, yung wala mo kasabay. Tapos, bigyan mo ako ng yeezy. Eh, yun magagawin mo? Oh God, susundin na kita. Ito nilistahan ko. Is that what this verse is saying? I don't think so. We've talked about kingdom thinking leads to kingdom living, isn't it? Now, this kingdom, when you submit yourself to this kingdom, the king's heartbeat becomes yours. His passion becomes your passion. His love becomes your love. His eyes becomes your eyes. Ang mangyayari, your kingdom thinking suddenly shifted. Akala mo, kailangan ko to hindi pala. Nung nakasama mo si God, nung nagkaroon ka relationship, oops, I don't think I need all these shoes. I might as well support a real life scholar. I might as well support a campus minister. Sa isang libo mo sambuan, buwan, malayo na arte sa mga estudyante kaysa isang katutak na kape, iniinom mo, wala naman na itutulong sa katawan mo. Magsusupport na lang ako dito kay Jake. 1,000 a month, well, it will go a long way. I'm a pastor and I'm supporting them. Why? Because kingdom thinking leads to kingdom asking. You have a different list to ask now with God. Why? Because ang gusto mo, to please you, papunta na akong langit, Lord. Makuha ko yung kotse niya, no, hindi, it doesn't matter. Pero hindi ako yung magpapakamatay, manghungutang, maninira, mag, 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 mandadaya sa tax, manghihila ng mga office maker para ako ma-promote just to have that promotion. Because right now, as far as I'm concerned, I'm heaven-bound. So all these things won't matter. But I'm going to use these things to advance God's kingdom. I'm going to leverage on my position to advance God's kingdom. Na every member ng networking ko, hindi lang yung produkto mo advance ko, yung gospel. Na I'm just going to use this as an excuse to advance His kingdom. That's what it meant when you say all these things. Yung will niya na ngayon ang ia-align mo sa, yung will mo ia-align mo sa will niya. So all of a sudden, you're gonna see, hindi naman pala kailangan tong mga to. I'm dying to have this stuff before. Hindi naman pala maalaga at the end of the day. You see, the size of your worries determine the size of your God. How big is your worry? That determines how small is your God is. Dalawa lang yan. Malaki worry mo, malit ang God mo. O malaki ang God mo. Katulad ng clicker na yon, okay? Malit ang worry mo, right? So, how's your worry naman? Kumusta ba? Ang mong mo worry? I'm telling you, you of little faith. Are you gonna, are you assured that God will meet me tomorrow? Well, I can sleep tonight like a baby. Because yung kaso na harapin ko bukas, your will be done. I can sleep well at night because yung deal na, din, na kinoclose ko, God, I've done my part, nag-propose na ako, ito yung bid na kaya ko lang, I, I'm just gonna rest in the assurance. Matuloy o hindi, it doesn't matter. As long as I have you. Matuloy yung deal, okay na pupunta akong langit. Yung cancer na to, Lord, it doesn't matter. My body is just temporal. So, gumaling, great. Hindi, I'm still gonna honor you. Hindi kita ilalaglag because I'm gonna cast all my cares on you. Because why? Because I know you care for me. So therefore, do not worry about tomorrow. For tomorrow has so much trouble of itself and each day has enough trouble of its own. There's no such thing as trouble-free day. Amen? So let's just, uh, have some practical, I'm just, I'm just gonna... I'm just going to be uh, uh, fast here. Some practical stuff lang. As I've, as I've said, the Greek word for uh, 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 worry is to divide or to draw in different attention. So, ang gusto lang ng Satan or ng enemy is for your focus to be shifted. Right? Ang gusto lang niya, hindi ka maging criminal. Ma-shift lang attention mo away from God. One degree. Yung one degree, after 40 years, malayo na yon. One degree, ma-divert ang marriage mo from God. 20 years, iwalay ka na ngayon. 
One degree, ma-divert your attention mo sa student. pag graduate mo ng college, malayo ka na kay God. So, I mean, it's the same thing if you're a pilot. One degree, veer, papuntang Hong Kong. One degree, hindi ka abot ng Hong Kong. Malayo na yung pag in the long run. So, let's go to this verse. Uh, in Philippians 4, Paul wrote this in a prison. And Paul is saying, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, okay? Where is that? By prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Number one, develop a lifestyle of faith and prayer. How do you overcome worry? Develop a lifestyle of faith and prayer. Okay? By prayer and petition. And next up, ito, with thanksgiving, develop an attitude of gratitude. Just live your life holy and pleasing to God. Just be grateful. Lord, I'm thankful. Nakakapag-aral ako. Lord, I'm thankful na kukumute ako. Compare sa ibang tao na walang lakas gumising sa umaga. I'm thankful my kotse ko. I'm thankful. It doesn't matter where you're at. Just be thankful with what you have. Just be grateful with what you have. And you'll see how blessed you're gonna be. Because if you keep on focusing on the things we do not have, we will always worry. And as I end, and the peace of God that transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your mind in Christ Jesus. Let's all stand on our feet today. This is just my prayer for you. When we pray, we magnify God, right? When we worry, we forget God. So have a lifestyle of prayer and faith. Just be in faith. Lord, I want these things done, but have it your way. Your will be done. Lord, ganito, ganyan, you're the boss. You're my king. Your will be done. And just be grateful of what you have. And the peace of God, that's a promise that transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Guys, don't allow worry to choke you. Don't allow worry to rob you of the blessing of God. Don't allow worry to steal the joy that God has for you today, worrying about tomorrow. Lord, tulungan niyo po kami, Panginoon, how to have this peace that only comes from you. That in the midst of circumstances, you have given us peace that this peace is not dependent on circumstances it's totally dependent on the one who gives it so father today may you be glorified in our lives in lack just like paul in prison whether in lack or in plenty give us the joy the peace that transcends all understanding and i know lord god our hearts will be guarded our minds will be guarded in your name jesus christ tanggalin niyo po yung mga worries and anxiety namin lord I'm just, we're just gonna do our part we're going to prepare and anticipate what's going to happen tomorrow, but we are going to be happy and at peace knowing that you are there ahead of us. So, Father, thank you. May you be glorified in our lives. Let worries, Lord God, be a foreign thing for us. At hindi na namin to babalik-balikan. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, 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 amen.